Hi everybody, welcome back to Brilla Life Videos. It's Moira here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're doing well and keeping warm. Before I go ahead with today's video, I firstly want to say thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. I really do look forward to your comments. I do. It's something I... Every time I upload, I look forward to interacting with you. So, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for <clears throat> for being here. <laughs> thank you for sharing this journey with me. Um, I must say it's something I enjoy and I love. And it's just one of them. It's just one of the things I enjoy and love. And there's many other things I enjoy. But this is just one of them. And thank you for choosing to be part of it. I really appreciate it. Um, it's cold. We are in winter. It's cold. So um, I've got with me today, I'm not drinking tea or hot chocolate. I've got my hot water. I love drinking hot water. If I don't feel like tea, I don't feel like tea or I don't feel like hot chocolate. I mean, those are the only two hot beverages I like. <laughs> I'm not a coffee person. I must be honest. I love the idea of coffee. I love the smell of coffee. My husband drinks coffee. So when he makes it, I love the smell of coffee, but I don't like the taste. And every time I try it, I realize every time that's just not for me. So, um, yeah, so those are the only three things, hot things I like. I love my teas. And I love my hot chocolate with cream. <laughs> and I love my hot water. So that's what I'm drinking now. So today I am, I want to put more plants to these terrariums I made a while ago. Yeah, I feel like they're so bare. They're so bare. Though it's not how we started. I'll show you how it started. Trust me, there's a story behind this. Uh, but I want to put more plants to it. Um, yeah, so if you love terrariums, you're definitely going to enjoy this. I love building terrariums. I enjoy it. Now, if you, you love plants, but you feel you've got a small space, you don't have, uh, a room enough to bring in plants, you can really do that with terrariums. It's a very nice way of bringing life indoors. You know, you can do that with terrariums, you can play around with them, um, and there's no right or wrong as long as you make sure that the plants you put together in the terrarium in one terrarium are plants which have the same kind of needs you don't want to put succulents and you know your normal indoor plants kind of thing because then succulents don't want too much water you know they want to dry out and then um other plants like your fence they don't want to be on the they don't want to dry out you know they want to be on the moist side of things so it's not going to work. It's going to clash and someone is going to die. <laughs> One plant today is going to not survive, you know. Um, so it's always best when you build terrariums to choose your plants well according to their needs. Make sure that they've got the same kind of needs, you know, when it comes to watering, especially watering. Make sure that they've got the same kind of needs. You do get plants that want to dry out uh, completely before the next drink and then you do get plants that while they want to dry out they don't want to be completely bone dry you know they will tell you they won't be happy with you they want to be on the moist side of things and you do get plants that wants to be left alone, like your succulents you know they like to be on the dry side of things and when you do water them obviously you make sure that you water them thoroughly and then you leave them to go completely bone dry you know um then i mean yeah, there's, there's different plants out there with different needs, different needs. Then you get your fans that likes to be on the moist side of things. They love to be on the moist side. Of, they don't want the soil to go completely dry. They love to be, they don't like to be on the, they don't want to be soggy. They, they like to be moist, you know, though with me and my fans, I must be honest, my bathroom's got, um, my i've got fans in my bathroom that's why i keep on most of my fans in my bathroom because the humidity level there are ah, it's high we shower and bath there if not twice to three times a day so they love it there and i've got good lighting in there so for them and um so they 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 i i still let them dry out but not bone dry and uh they're doing so you need to know you need to know exactly what you're dealing with so let's do this. Um, I've got my 
three of them because I had done one for myself and one for my kids, Jonathan and, Jonathan and Offense. And this is Offense's one. <clears throat> As you can see, um, this is your umbrella plant. You know, I had this, I propagated this plant a while ago. It was sitting in water for a longest of time. I enjoyed it in water until I decided to put it in a, in a terrarium and it loved it. It loved the transition. It, it didn't stress out. It didn't complain. It didn't give me issues because I was actually concerned because I let it grow in water for a long time. I mean, I went from me propagating it to let, let it grow in water and I left it in water for a long, long time until I decided, you know what, let's put it in a terrarium. And the transition, it, it took well to the transition. And obviously, I think the reason it took also well to the transition is because your ter terrariums, um, they keep humidity levels. Uh, obviously, this is an open terrarium. It's not a closed terrarium. But still, you know, the humidity is still good for them. And... Um, the moist, I, I, I kept it moist. I, I didn't, I, I, I don't let it go, go completely, completely dry. I keep it moist. And um, so it did, it, it, transi it transi transitioned, oh my goodness gracious English, very well from uh, living in water to uh, being in a terrarium. So I'm very happy. They're doing well. You know, but what I want to show you, that's why I said we didn't start where, there where they are bare. This is mine. Okay. They've got this fan. This is a fan. I just don't remember the name, honestly speaking. Please forgive me. I don't know the name of all the plants out there. <laughs> but this is a fan. Um, all of them had this fan in them. And both Offense and Jonathan's one somehow didn't make it. It didn't make it. It died. I don't know why. Um yeah they didn't make it they didn't take well to being reported and put i mean me taking them out of where they were happy i mean they were doing very well and then i moved them into the terrarium and somehow for some reason which is weird they didn't appreciate that but then with mine it's doing well it, i mean it's doing well as you can see we do have some brown tips uh some browning and it's because um sometimes i must be honest i forget to water mine while i don't forget to water my kids one i forget to water mine and then yeah then it browns up if it gets completely dry but you can see uh the the umbrella plant is doing well i mean this is new growth this is new growth and it is doing absolutely well and even uh Offense and Jonathan. This is Jonathan's one. We're still waiting for it to shoot new growth, which I'm sure it will come. There's a growth point happening on this one here. So I'm sure we'll begin to see something new, something, uh, some action very soon. But with Offense's one, compared to, actually, it's very much the same as mine. You can see this is new growth. All these leaves is new growth. This one, two, three, these ones here, it's new growth. Um, so yeah, they're doing well. You can see the root system. Uh, if I can, I don't know if you can see. They are enjoying life in here. They are doing absolutely well. So yeah, let's let's do this. So what did I buy? I got these beautiful. I think it's a Fitonia family. I think so. They don't write what they are. <laughs> I think it's 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 Fitonia family kind of a plant. If I'm not wrong, please correct me out there if I'm wrong. <laughs> and uh, so I've got three of them for each terrarium, and then I've got this beautiful, beautiful. Um, it's called Peace in the Home. Uh, plant. I love it. I mean, look how beautiful that is. So I want to add that into the terraria. So I've I've bought this before and I killed it. I did. But I think it will do well in a terraria. I, I, it doesn't like to, it likes to be on the moist side of things. 
they say keep it even here they wrote it keep it constantly moist so i let it dry out <laughs> and it died ah, that was a while ago so i'm sure it will be happy in the terrarium so i've got my soil and I've, i'm just gonna put this because I'm, I'm doing all this on my work table so i don't want to mess up my table so i'm gonna put these i love using these and just move everything away. Alrighty. <sighs> okay. Alrighty. So let's do this. What do we start with? Um, I'm gonna start with their one because there's not much going on except mine. So let's start with piecing the home. Obviously, I need to take it out of this cute little pot. Look at that. It's got shallow roots, I'm sure. So, but I love the pot. It's a very cute pot, isn't it? I'm gonna use it for something else. I love it. So um, we're not going to get rid of all this soil because we don't want to disturb it much. We don't, I don't want to disturb it much. So we're just going to remove some of the soil and we're going to chop away some of the, I forgot a cloth. I really meant to bring a cloth, but we're going to chop away some of the dead leaves because I don't want to put that in my terrarium, you know. Um, I'm gonna just lift it up for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm just removing some of these dead leaves because I don't want it in my terrarium. You know, um, we're just gonna chop that away. Just chop that off. And then from the, I'll divide it in three. Um, and I think it's gonna look great. I hope it takes well to the terrarium, which I believe it will. I don't think it, <laughs> it will. I, I want to believe it will. Okay. So I'm just going to cut it in, in three. How do you do this? Okay. Um, okay. How do we do this? Okay. Okay, here's the first one because their glasses are a bit more narrower than mine that's mine <laughs> and then they will share this one maybe i should just use scissors hey what do you think they will share this one i should have done that in the first place okay they will share that one i need to pull up my sleeves okay I don't mind soil. I love soil in my hands, but I want to have a cloth that when I want it off my hands, I can wipe it off my hands. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But I do have a tissue here, which I can use. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we've got it divided in three. Like I said, I'm going to start with the with theirs because there's not much going on there okay i'll still have to get that cloth because i don't think i'm i'm gonna get anywhere with it with this tissue okay let's pull up our sleeves okay there we go just moving away moving away the soil all right let's start with Jonathan's one, I think it's much easier. He's got shells in here, which I'm going to remove for now. Okay. Let's take off the shells. Taking off the shells. He didn't have much going on in there. We're just going to tilt the soil just a little bit. And tell it this, you're going to have new members. <laughs> New members of the family are arriving, people. Let's get ready for them. Just going to tilt the soil a little bit. OK. 
Okay, just a little bit. We don't want to break the roots. I mean, just tilting it up a little bit. And um, and here we go. The nice thing about it is I kept that, you know, soil. So we I do have soil here with me. Here's my soil. Um, okay, let's see how we want this. It's leaning a little bit, but it's okay. Um, I don't know. Should I start with this? Maybe I should be. I should be starting with this, right? I don't know. Maybe I should be starting with this. Yeah, let's start with. Should we? Okay, my let's let's start with. Okay, let's just tilt our soil again. Okay. Alrighty, are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready for this? One, two, three, here we go. Okay, this shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't. Ah, it looks nice already. It looks nice already. So, um, you're just going to try and push it down. Oh, it looks nice already. Some green. You know what? I've got this wood. I've got this wood, which, you know, but anyway, it's okay. Which I wanted to add to the terrarium just to give it that kind of a, uh, but anyway, let's, 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 let's wait with it. Um, but I like how it looks. I like how it looks. We're just going to add a little bit. This spoon is too big, but we're just going to add a little bit of soil. You know what? Let's just move it like this. And then we want to add a little bit of soil. We want to add a little bit of soil just to the side here. Okay, that's what we want to do just to give it. Okay, this is working out so nicely. Ugh. I love terrariums. <laughs> I can do this the whole day. Okay, just going to add a little bit of soil and we tuck it in. Just tuck it in. Okay, oh, let's remove things that are standing out way too much. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna take the members of Fitonia. I hope they are. Well, I think they are. I think they are. I think they are. I think they're Fitonia family members. We're not going to disturb this, uh, what's going on here. We want to really take it as it is and just dunk it in there. Okay, I'm going to make room for it. Okay. I'm going to make room for it. don't even know. But we'll figure it out. I'm going to make room just here for it. Just here. Are you ready? Are you ready, princess? Okay. Please don't fall apart on me. One, two, three. And uh, in we go. <gasps> that was neck breaking. You don't want to... Well, that's me. I don't want to break anything. So, um... I think it's in, and I don't want to pull it out because then it's going to fall apart. So I have to make it work. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to put a bit of soil. I've always done, to be honest, ever since I started making terrariums, I've always done used soil for my terrarium. I know other people use moss, you know, specnum moss. I've always used soil. 
it works for me i love it and i also love the look of soil and i love soil i love soil okay um okay just a minute i just need to grab something just a minute Alrighty, so i'm loving how it looks um i just want to fix it and let it sit nicely because <laughs> um, so yeah um it's gonna be very happy in here for sure So we're just gonna add a little bit more of soil okay oh, i love how this looks okay <laughs> let's add soil just a bit of soil you know let me show you what i was talking about i've got this wood you know which I think would look so nice in a terrarium you know i mean look at that this is so beautiful but then i need to obviously cut it mm -hmm. you know um yeah but i'm gonna leave it for a bigger terrarium i've got i've got one or two i've got about two bigger terrariums which i can use this for but i mean this is beautiful you know it's it's, it's really beautiful i've got a few of these um very nice please tell me what to do with them what do you think give me ideas okay i'm not gonna use it today because it's not gonna work um this is you know I, i'm gonna have to cut it and my husband my husband is not here to help me um though i can do it myself too but but please give me ideas give me ideas of what to do with these but i'm one the, the one thing i'm thinking of is that they will look so nice in a terrarium you know yeah i'm looking forward to your thoughts so i wanted to show you that so i'm just gonna dunk more soil in here just a little bit okay i always try especially when the plants i'm working with are already moist like these are very moist you can tell that they were watered already they're very 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 moist so i always try to keep my terrarium very clean that i don't have to do it to because i know I'm, i can't give it too much water um, because it's moist it's really moist i would just i'll just spray it a little bit uh, but i'm not gonna you know so let's try to keep it clean and not you know that i don't have to wash the leaves and all that okay i think that's nice i love how it it's working out to be very honest um i love it i think i'm done <laughs> i think i'm done so let's see okay i love how it worked out okay there's a few buried i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try and unbury them the this um few leaves that are buried under it was not supposed to happen like that guys how did you go there okay yeah, yes, come out. You are not supposed to be buried. Oh, no. It's not the idea, is it?
Oh, I love how it turned out. I love the look. And let's hope for the best. I mean, that they will grow and continue to look beautiful. And, 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 and. Yeah, but this is how it turned out. If you can see. Sometimes I feel like the camera doesn't do these things justice. To be very honest, in person, they look absolutely amazing. But um, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'll take photos and upload photos there. Go check that out. Go check this out on Instagram, the photos. Um, just going to do this again because I don't want soil to, to fall on me like it's already kind of doing. Okay, so we're done. This is Jonathan's one. So we're done. Like I said, the plants I'm working with are already very moist. I mean, the soil, it's they're actually wet. Forget moist. So I'm just going to really just spray it. You know, I'm not going to much put too much water in here because even the terrarium itself, I recently water it, watered it. So it's just to spray them up, you know. Yeah, there's certain leaves buried under one or two leaves, but I'm not going to stress much about that. No, I'm saying I'm not going to, but I am. You know, what can you do? So we're just going to just leave it to do its thing. Um, I think we did well. I think we did well. I'll sort that out. Um, so let's do what then this one. Oh, I don't know. I hope this video is not going to be long. We're going to do the same. We're just going to tilt the soil. We want to do it just lightly because we don't want to break the roots. Okay, there we go. I'm going to try with offenses one. I'm going to try and start with this one and see how, what, how the results looks like. Okay. Doesn't want to come out just as easy. Okay. Look at those roots. I'm going to try not to disturb this plant. Okay. So let's look. Where do we want it? Where do we want it? Mm. Anyway, I guess. Maybe here on the side. Okay. So. Okay. We're going to dunk it in. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, it makes it easy to start with I wish I did that with Jonathan, but it's okay. It still looks great. So we have it in. We're going to try and just secure it in. I'm going to use my fingers just to tuck it in. And then we're going to add a bit of soil. Not too much because we still have to add tears in the uh, peace in the home. I love the name of this plant. I really do. Peace in the home. <laughs> I love it. It's a beautiful name. Okay, I'm going to add this. Just a bit of soil. Okay, I'm going to add just a bit of soil. And just a minute. Okay, my husband just got home, so 
um so yeah we're just gonna we've added i think that's enough soil for this beauty that's enough soil oh, this is so beautiful look at that look at that okay so i'm gonna dust it i just need to give it a, a good dust because like i said you you really don't want to have so much soil over the leaves because i'm not going to water this much okay all righty now we're going to add the piece in the home okay this is now what we're gonna add. Okay. Um righty. Okay. Still have that tissue <laughs> lying around here for my hands. Oh okay. Let's see. We're just gonna make a space for the for it. Okay. Um There we go. Are you ready? Are you? How are we gonna do this? Okay. Um okay. let's do this. okay oh this one is on the way sorry i didn't notice that all this time i'm so sorry i don't even know how much you saw of what i was doing i apologize for that so um that's so bad moira okay let's do it. <laughs> okay <sighs> can't breathe <laughs> Okay, let's start again. I think I must just be brave and just push it in. You know what I mean? Not think too much about it. Sometimes I think too much about things. Okay, let's do that. Don't think too much. And don't break your plants while you're at it. And just tuck it in. <laughs> doesn't quite do what I wanted to do you know now I'm happy I started the other way around with Jonathan I actually am happy I started the other way around with Jay I'm going to pull this out I'm glad it's still intact <laughs> and we're gonna do exactly what we did with Jonathan we're gonna start with this we're gonna start with the piece in the hole because it's not working Okay, let's just tilt our soil again. Now there's a lot of soil in here. We can reduce this soil. Remember I had added soil, so we can take that out. And now, and let's clean this glass while we can. Let's clean it while we can, okay? Okay, let's give it a because I might not be able to do a lot of this. Okay, we've cleaned our glass a bit. Okay, let's add this. Now we're gonna push it in. <clears throat> the soil is making my nose itch. Okay, we're gonna try and tuck in soil. Okay. That's great. Hard. 
Ya. Look at this soil out again. Almost there. That one was easy. Okay. Let's try it again. Yeah, that's better. Okay. That's so much better. That's so much better. And then we want to add that and then we can add soil to tuck it in. Okay, we want to add this. But let's add a bit of soil first. It's coming along. It's coming along. Uh. It's coming along. It's coming along. I really hope these takes take off well, you know. I really hope so. I hope they're happy in here. Okay, there goes my chopstick. Okay. Now we're going to try and add. Now we're going to try and add Fetonia. Okay, the other plant in. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready, girl? Okay, start you, just dust you off. Okay, uh, in you go. Okay, yeah. The next area I want to make is the one in the bottle. And if I'm struggling with this one, with such an open, hmm, you know, top, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. Okay, let's just add more soil. Let's just add more soil. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more soil and I think I'll be done with this one. I still have mine to go and, you know, this video is going to be long. Okay, let's see. Let's just find a space where I can dunk in soil. Let's just find the room. Okay, I'm going to use a paintbrush just to brush the soil away. But for now, I think we are done. I don't even want to stress myself out with this. I think we really are done. <sighs> okay, let me show you how it looks. So that's exactly how it looks you got your you know so yeah um yeah 
yeah I'm not gonna stress about that okay so we're gonna do mine I just want to clean up this mess then I sorry and then I can start mine so here's mine I need to remove a few things I've got about two shells in here I need to take out I got this when we went to the UK <laughs> it's so cute um, Can you hear that? My son is calling me. He'll find me. He knows exactly where mommy is. So I'm not going to take out this because I love it. I'm not going to take out um, uh, this uh, fan because I really do love it. But I don't know how I'm going to put all this in here. It's going to be fun. You know, so I need to lift it up like so. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to tilt my soil.
Alrighty, we are done. I've got all three of them here. Just gonna tilt my camera that you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, we're done. We've got all three of them here. They look absolutely beautiful. Um, let's start with this monkey one. This is offenses one. I didn't dust off the leaves, so um, they look a little bit. <laughs> I need to dust them off, but um, this is offenses one. This is this is how it came out. I love how it looks. <laughs> I really do love how it looks. And this is Jonathan's one. I also love how it looks. You know, um, obviously they uh, need to adjust to the environment and. You know begin to find their way around the, the jar i'm looking forward to that and this is mine i love how mine came out obviously my jar is a bit wider than theirs so it actually worked out so beautifully i mean look at that and um and also look at the fitonia i mean that's beautiful uh, so this is exactly how it looks you know yeah so it's beautiful i love how they came out so we done this was a long video i hope you enjoyed it we're just gonna take like i said i was working with moist plants and my terrarium was also moist does not dry so we just going to, i'm just going to spray them not too much though um and that will be it just gonna put this um this tissue on my table oh that's what happens when you work with dogs around you that was next he just bumped my camera stand but nonetheless we're just going to really just spray it give it a good spray and while i do that i also try to clean the glass on the side you know that's just give it a good spray and just spray the leaves Give them a good spray. And that's it. That's it. This is uh, Jonathan's one. They love their terrariums. They love it. They really do. Um, and I need to make them more. This is the only terrarium they have so far. Um, umbrella plant terrarium. And they love it. So yeah. So that's it. Just give it a, a good spray and that's it and hope for the best i'll definitely give you an update as to how they are doing so let's do this one this is offensive one you're gonna give it a good spray nice good spray and spray the leaves also you know and then and then we are done Let's do that. And then we are done. I'm just, I just want to clean the glass while I do this. Because this side doesn't look so great. <clears throat> okay. Let's clean the glass. Alrighty. Good. Just washing the leaves while I do this. They were very dusty. Okay, I think sprayed it enough. And we're just gonna wipe the glass nicely. Let's give it a good good wipe. Okay. All right, that's offenses one and then mine let's give it a good spray a very good spray wash the leaves while you are at it from dust okay just gonna give it a good spray 
here it's hurting. Alrighty. Yeah. They're gonna be happy in here, I have no doubt. Okay. Alrighty, <laughs> we're done. Just gonna wipe it, the glass, nicely. A garden in a glass. How beautiful is this? So yeah, done. Um, okay, we're done. I love how it looks. So that's it from me for today. It was fun. I've enjoyed doing this. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it has inspired you to go make yourself a terrarium. And like I said, there's no right or wrong. Choose the plants you like and uh, you want to put in a terrarium. Just make sure that they've got the same kind of needs that, especially water-wise, water that... Um, no plant suffers <laughs> but nonetheless it's been fun have yourself a beautiful beautiful day until next time bye